Flooding affected the historic Polish town of Glukalazy on Sunday after heavy rains over large swathes of Europe. Rising waters overflowed a river embankment and flooded streets and houses in the town. The town's mayor, Paweł Simkowicz, appealed to residents to evacuate to higher ground. Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk said Sunday one person was presumed dead in floods in the southwest. Tusk said the situation was dramatic around the town of Klodzko, with some 25,000 residents, located in a valley in the Sudetes Mountains near the border with the Czech Republic. Energy supplies and communications were cut off in some flooded areas and regions may resort to using the satellite-based Starlink service, Tusk said. Several Central European nations have been hit by severe flooding, including Romania, where four people had died, as well as Austria, Germany, Slovakia and Hungary, as a result of a low-pressure system from northern Italy dumping heavy rainfall in the wide region. Veronica Rischia! Jednego budynku nie ma. Komisariatu Straży Miejskiej nie ma. Iran launched a satellite into space Saturday with a rocket built by the country's paramilitary Revolutionary Guard, state-run media reported, the latest for a program the West fears helps Tehran advance its ballistic missile program. Iran described the launch as a success, which would be the second such launch to put a satellite into orbit with the rocket. There was no immediate independent confirmation of the launch success, nor did Iranian authorities immediately provide footage or other details. The launch comes amid heightened tensions gripping the wider Middle East over the ongoing Israel-Hamas war in the Gaza Strip, during which Tehran launched an unprecedented direct missile and drone attack on Israel. Meanwhile, Iran continues to enrich uranium to nearly weapons-grade levels, raising concerns among non-proliferation experts about Tehran's program. Iran identified the satellite-carrying rocket as the KAIM-100, which the Guard used in January for another successful launch. KAIM means, upright, in Iran's Farsi language. The solid-fuel rocket put the Shamran-1 satellite, weighing 60 kilograms, into a 550-kilometer orbit, state media reported. The U.S. State Department and the American military did not immediately respond to requests for comment over the Iranian launch. The United States had previously said Iran's satellite launches defy a UN Security Council resolution and called on Tehran to undertake no activity involving ballistic missiles capable of delivering nuclear weapons.
UN sanctions related to Iran's ballistic missile program expired last October. Under Iran's relatively moderate former president Hassan Rouhani, the Islamic Republic slowed its space program for fear of raising tensions with the West. Hardline President Ibrahim Raisi, a protege of Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei who came to power in 2021, has pushed the program forward. Raisi died in a helicopter crash in May. It's unclear what Iran's new president, the reformist Masoud Pazeshkian, wants for the program as he was silent on the issue while campaigning. The U.S. intelligence community's worldwide threat assessment this year said Iran's development of satellite launch vehicles would shorten the timeline for Iran to develop an intercontinental ballistic missile because it uses similar technology. Intercontinental ballistic missiles can be used to deliver nuclear weapons. Iran is now producing uranium close to weapons-grade levels after the collapse of its nuclear deal with world powers. Tehran has enough enriched uranium for several nuclear weapons, if it chooses to produce them, the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency repeatedly has warned. Iran has always denied seeking nuclear weapons and says its space program, like its nuclear activities, is for purely civilian purposes.